for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the measure of the central angle in radians. Um, this time we are given the radius and the arc length. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the formula S equals R times theta, where S represents the arc length, R is our radius, and theta is our central angle measure. So in this case, we know S is 1.25 pi, and I am going to leave my answer for this one in terms of pi. Um, if they did ask for an approximate answer, you would just plug it into your calculator. Okay, um, so theta is what we are finding. We don't know what that is, and r is going to be five centimeters. So let's go ahead and plug in all of the values that we have. Um, the arc length on this one is also in centimeters. I just forgot to write that down, so the centimeters will cancel out. Okay, um, so let's plug in our values into here. So we would say that 1.25 pi equals five times theta. So simply all you have to do to solve for theta is divide both sides by five. Okay, and so with this, you end up with theta equals 0.25 pi, or if you would rather have this as a fraction, 0.25 is really one fourth. Um, so you could say that theta is really pi over four. And like I said, if you wanted to put this in an approximate answer, you could take pi and divide it by four um, and just get the approximate answer. If you wanted to convert this to degrees, remember that you would multiply it by 180 over pi. So really the pi's would cancel out and you do 180 divided by four. So for this one though, all we were doing was looking for the measure of the central angle in radians, but you can convert it into degrees if you need to. I do have videos that ha show how to convert to degrees if you need that. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.